The AC600CW is a 6,000 horsepower diesel electric locomotive built by GE Transportation. This locomotive, along with the EMD SD90MAC, is one of the most powerful single engine diesel locomotives in the world, surpassed in horsepower by the dual engine 6,600 horsepower EMD DDA40X. History The AC600 CW was designed at the height of a horsepower race between the two major locomotive manufacturers, Electromotive Division of London, Ontario and GE Transportation of Erie, Pennsylvania in the early to mid-1990s. The goal was 6,000 horsepower. GE partnered with Deutsche MWM of Germany in 1994 to design and construct the 6,250 bhp 7 HDL engine for the locomotives. The first locomotive constructed was the Green Machine GE 6000, the nickname due to the green paint scheme. The first production models were also built in 1995. CSX Transportation 600 to 602, and Union Pacific Railroad 7009. After testing was completed by GE, they were released to the respective owners in late 1996. The initial locomotives suffered from various mechanical problems, with the most severe being the engine itself. There were major vibration problems which were addressed by increasing the engine mass to alter the resonant frequency. This in turn caused problems with the twin turbochargers. These problems caused GE to push back full production of their new model until 1998. Changes such as stiffer materials and increased engine wall thickness were in place at full production. GE built 106 AC 6000 CWs for Union Pacific with the older, proven 7 FDL engine, rated for 4,400 horsepower. These units were originally supposed to be converted to the 6,250 horsepower 7 HDL engine after the problems were worked out with the engine, but this never occurred. GE considers these units as AC600CW convertibles, while UP classifies them as CW4460 ACs or AC4460CWs. The AC600CW ended production in 2001, although Union Pacific's 75XX series remains in daily use as of 2010, mostly on rock and gravel trains in Texas. Union Pacific designates these units as C60AC, CSX as CW60AC. On June 21, 2001, all eight of the Australian Railroad BHP bulletins GEAC 6000s combined to set the world record for the heaviest and longest train. They haul 99,734 tons and 682 wagons for 275 kilometers between Yandy Mine and Port Hedland. The train was 7.3 kilometers long and carried 82,000 tons of iron ore. The record still stands. Operators. BHP Bulletin 8 units numbered 607 No. 6077 built in June and AMP July 1999. These are the only AC 6000 CWs that were exported outside of the United States. They are the most powerful locomotives to have operated in Australia. The eight units were named after towns and locations in the Pilbara region of Western Australia where they operated. 6071 Chichester 6072 Hester 6073 Fortescue 6074 Calgon 6075 Newman 6076 Mount Goldsworthy 6077 Nimingara 
In 2013-14, these were replaced by EMD SD70 ACEs. They were eventually scrapped in late 2014 after BHP couldn't found any buyers who are interested to acquire the locos. CSX Transportation, three units, numbered 600 to 602, were among the first production AC 6000 CWs built. 601 is lettered the spirit of Waycross, 602 is lettered the spirit of Maryland and is the only AC 6000 on CSX property to retain its original high at six wheel trucks, which are identical to the trucks of the GE-9-44 CW, the GE-9-40 C and the GE ES440 C114 units numbered 603 to 699 an amp 5,5016 were built between October 1998 and amp April 2000. 600 to 602 original prime movers replaced with 4,400 horsepower 7 FDL16 engines. This is due to these units being pre-production models and amp mechanical differences between them and the production model. 603 to 699, 5,050 16s original prime movers replaced with 4,600 horse Power 16 CYL GEVO Prime Movers and new computer equipment essentially making them ES46 ACs. 5015 and 5016 were both classified as a CW60AH. Union Pacific, 10 units numbered 7500-7509, were built between November 1995 and AMP December 1996. These units were originally numbered 7000-7009. 45 units numbered 7510-7554, were built between July and AMP December 1998. 7,511 suffered an electrical fire and was retired from the roster in June 1999. The damage was covered, under warranty and the unit was sent to GE for repairs. GE built another 7,511 unit for up to replace the original in January 2001, renaming the original 7,511 to GECX 6002. 25 units, numbered 7555-7579, were built in January 2001. All were converted to AC4460 CW units and renumbered to 6888-6968. Union Pacific Convertibles, 70 units, numbered 7336-7405, were built between November 1995 and AMP September 1996. These units were renumbered to 7010-7079 to make room for ES44 ACs. 42 units, numbered 7300-7337, 7339, 7340, 7342, and 7344 were built between March and AMP May 1998. Dot. 